quick tour of the Seattle Antiquarian Book Fair booth, 2011, starting with some Wakefield and Baskin. A little bit glary. Didier Motel's Alice in Wonderland. Miniatures and one side of Glutton for Rapture. Didier's Principia Mathematica. Fancies. Genoflorilegium. And Rebecca Goodill's Some Main Common and Rare Asters and Goldenrods, which is just beautiful. Some of Michael Kutch's work. Falling to Earth, his 9-11 book, Water Lilies, I'm sorry, Water Limes, Alice in Wonderland, run the gamut of a smattering of Aiden's miniatures, little and sexy cute things. An unusual Baskin piece in the background, Birds and Animals. And then this is Michael Kutch's newest alphabet book, which has a fabulous binding and even better plates. Cat Run Press's Wonderful Sleep. That's that one. More by Didier. And Turnover Darling, Ronald King's. Some things by Gaylord. Farmers and Progressive Proofs for Mayflies. And a wonderful 1791, um, the view of the ruins during the Birmingham riots. Bindings. This is, uh, easily. Simply put, sex, sex, death, and the devil. All sorts of interesting things on the bottom shelf. Didier's The Forbes, which is sort of dances of death for billionaires. Little bits of fun. This shows a special little trade card piece with a QR code, letterpress QR code. Travel, Prince Roman, one of 25 copies printed for Joseph Conrad. Some more press. Some really wonderful Sylvia Plath material, including dialogue over a Ouija board and Fiesta Melons. Oops, sorry. Withers Emblem Book. More idiosyncratic travel. Well, well, here. Lullaby, which is another by by Rebecca Goodall, and finally another for the books that don't do well on the shelves for other. Chemical, which is an artist book, from 1961, bound in chicken wire.